I'm gonna start this video by asking a question. Do you believe in fantasy world? I wish it was real because man I need some escapism. Hit me up if you find a magic world that can transport you out of this hell called earth. Hey speaking of fantasy worlds, let's get into amphibia. I've been a pretty big fan of the show ever since the first season came out and wow it's now at its third season already? Time really moves fast, I'm getting older. Amphibia in my opinion just has one banger episode after another and it's really hard for me to pick a favorite. So I thought to myself, why not just make an entire series where you can ask the internet about some random topic and I'll respond to some of them. The internet is a pretty diverse place so it's interesting to see many different opinions from many different people. Plus, I did use Twitter to gain answers in the form of quotes from characters in Amphibia and the Owl House, so I think I can use interactive platforms for another purpose. So not only I asked people from Twitter, but also on YouTube and even my own Discord server, link down below if you want to join. And therefore, I created a new series called Internet Picks. Let's hope this one doesn't die out in 2 or 3 months. To start off this series, I asked you guys a pretty simple question. What do you think is the best Amphibia episode outside of True Colors and why? I'm excluding True Colors from this video because it's damn obvious that 90% of you would answer this question with this episode. Like yeah, we can agree that it is an incredible episode all the way but come on, there are other Amphibia episodes that exist. It's time to give the more minor episodes leading up to or following True Colors more appreciation. And that's what the point of this video is. So without further ado, let's begin. Reunion is the episode that got me thinking this cartoon is going to be something special. It had everything, the drama, the betrayal, a heartbreak, a little bit of happy times, and standing up for herself, Sasha realizing she's been a bad friend and her decision to let go. I agree, I really enjoy Reunion as well. I think some might appreciate the episode even more now after the relationships between Anne and Sasha are more conflicted than ever. It's easy to look at Sasha as the antagonist in this episode but it's apparent here that it's just the matter of conflicting ideas that trigger this entire mess. And also Sasha's usually aggressive approach to things that Anne isn't entirely feeling comfortable with. This is the first glimpse into the actual relationship between the three girls that will be much focused on in season 2. It's just a nice precursor to all of the stuff happening in season 2 and it's just a relatively fun episode that is until the second half where everything is played with such high stakes even though it's just two girls fighting with swords. Weird choice I know but there's something I'll always love about Wally and Anne. Just feels like the perfect season 1 episode, shows Anne's character development well and shows her growing connection with Wally, a character she struggled with a lot so far in a really nice and sweet way. Combine that with the cool Moss Man and Wally just being generally really funny, it's just perfect and wonderfully shows what I love most about season 1. This is such a heartwarming episode that I think still goes very underappreciated. Some watchers going through season 1 may get a bit impatient and just want to know, where's the plot, where's Marcy, when can Anne travel outside Wartwood? If you try to skip the episodes that follow the same formula, unfortunately, you might not get to watch this one. And for that reason, it's a shame because this is truly one of the highlights of Anne's character progression throughout the season. Just like our good friend said, she went from being disgusted with frogs to being able to get along with the frog who's being assumed as the most abnormal of the bunch. Coincidentally, Anne was also an outcast for the Wartwood people at first, so both of them hanging out makes total sense. Meanwhile, Wally is just such a comedy gold character. You goofball! Wow. Also, if you've tuned in to the nitty gritty of Amphibia lore, the Mossman may look more significant than what it is on the surface. If you take a look at this drawing in Andreas' castle, you can see the Moss people in there for some reason. It'll be so cool if they make an unlikely return in the finale. My all time fave has to be Beryl's Warhammer, such a perfect, creative, and intense 11 minutes. The action is so spectacular and the character development for Sasha is fascinating. Utterly obsessed with it since it first aired. Sasha episodes always feel different compared to the others, let's face it. I'm always into characters working hard to try to get their goals in not the best way possible. I like that in the end, Sasha is upset because her toad friends decide to quit even though she's achieved her goal to get the Warhammer. It just shows that she still has some work to do if she wants to get her friends along with her. 
Her realizing that Anne and Marcy are working together without her hit her so hard that she gains her calamity power from it. I really do sympathize for Sasha, she is just trying her hardest in these episodes. Other things I like in this episode are the action scene, the part where they call Grimes Grimothy and also Sasha being adorable for once. I love how she can get harsh at one point and then just poof kawaii face. This is hands down one of my favorites in season 2 for sure. Mine has to be N Hunter, I mean it be a vibe near the end. Hell yeah, that end dance in the end is a masterpiece. I'm happy everyone is coming around to agree with it. Hopping Mall, because of that ending, it still gets me. Not only for what happens in that scene, but because of how beautifully animated it is and just the ambience of it all. The crickets in the night over the lights of Newtopia, the piano, those end credits is perfection. To be honest, I think Hopping Mall has gotten the reputation to be a really significant Amphibia episode, mainly because of the ending, to the point where it overshadows the rest of the episode. And that's not a bad thing, but the main reason this episode works is Anne's motivation here. She just wants to say sorry to her mom for leaving her for so long by buying something priceless for her. And in the end, she learned that, you know, love is all you need to speak the truth. That is why the ending is really powerful. Anne and Sprig are just talking to each other about their moms. It's just such an incredibly sad scene to watch, especially if you've seen season 3 where Anne finally reunites with her parents. You could tell that she missed her mom so much. It's easily one of my favorite endings to an episode in the entire show. Battle of the Bands slash the dinner is a perfect segue into the depressing and gut-wrenching finale of season 2. It lets you see that Sasha is conflicted about her plans, that she genuinely does care about Anne and Marcy in both episodes. Battle of the Bands genuinely feels like a fun, exciting episode. A perfect no stakes episode before the finale. It's funny, it's heartwarming, and it's the last time you see all of the trio in one spot. Happy up, man. Up. Yeah, both of them stand out as probably the very few times so far where the episodes actually focus on all of the three girls at once and that's what makes them so 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 enjoyable because let's be honest to ourselves the trio is what drew most of us into the series in the first place everyone talks about them everyone draws fan arts of them tell an amphibia fan and they can see this color palette the same way again but what's the most interesting among the three here is sasha she tried her best to reconciliate with Anne and marcy especially Anne. seeing them happy for once is just so wholesome and yeah it did prepare us for the heart-wrenching season finale so these are truly some of the brightest spots in the show's canon. The aquarium episode might be my favorite amphibia episode next to True Colors. The scene where Anne and the planters beat the race with the spread set them up slash knock them down plus Anne and hop ups back ball combo plus Polly's speed take is the bond they formed in season 1 on full display. Yeah, that first half is such a nostalgic callback to season 1, whether it be explicitly said in dialogues or it's just done in action, either way it's really really charming. This is why you don't skip amphibia episodes in season 1, each of them will build up to something more significant in later seasons. They are a part that makes this show special in the first place. I personally thought the new normal was a good one just because it laid out a lot that they can go into more for future episodes. I think it's a decent episode to start off season 3. It does set the tone of the season very well with the planters scouring through the surroundings of Earth for the first time and still concerned about her friends, her power, the incoming threats, and the battle with the evil Frobo is pretty fun too. I think I would've enjoyed this episode more if some of the promos and the sneak peeks were just cut because it just spoils a chunk of the episode's runtime. I would have to give a huge shout out to the shot in The 3 story episode format from Gravity Falls will never fail to entertain me. On that note, the scary stories they told in this episode were amazing. I loved seeing human Sprig and Polly and the story about Hop Up losing his hair was hilarious. The shot in also just so happens to be Bill Farmer's favorite episode. Dude, how can you not mention that Sprig and Ivy segment? That one is my favorite one. Maybe that's part of my Sprivy bias, but I just love seeing an episode of them just doing misfits together. I just wanna see at least one of those moments before the show ended, man. 
I think overall this is a nice holiday special that are all Halloween themed but still pretty much in the show's usual wheelhouse in terms of humor. Do I think it's the best Amphibia episode? Not really but still good. Also I just wanna point out the effect of dislikes on your work, it's not pretty, trust me. I love After the Rain, it gives wonderful backstory to Hop Up's character and you can see just how desperate he is to have Anne come home and how much he wants her to be safe. I've seen some people say that Ang, 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 Anne's anger is unjustified but it makes sense considering everything she's gone through. Overall, this is just such a good episode. When this episode first aired, I remembered many were pretty underwhelmed by it. So many of us were anticipating this episode to be the continuation of sad boy vibes that Hopping Mall delivered to us and it was not to be on that level. Mostly because the emotional reveal in this episode's climax is built up weekly and also how fast Anne accepts Hop Up's apology, I think that still personally stands for me. But with the release of the first temple the week after, the conflict between them were still not resolved. They were still arguing it out and I'm happy that it wasn't just gonna end right at the end of After the Rain because it would've been so awkward. The context of the episode surely made me appreciate it a lot more but still I think it would have been better if the pacing were slightly improved. And Theft Auto. I'm sorry the episode is gold you can convince me otherwise. That was kind of a unique episode to pick. I mean it's funny and chock full of personality just like a lot of season 1 episodes are but the best amphibia episode? Uh... Battle of the Bands is fun but my favorite would have to be Return to Wartwood. We hid it in a safe place so we wouldn't forget and then we forgot and like the next few tweets are like the lines <laughs> from the episode. All in all, it's a fun episode that brings us back to the fun, plot minimal, comedic season 1. Amphibious comedy, writing, animation, and voice acting is really quality and enjoyable. Hell yes. Hell yes. These tweets pretty much sums this episode up. It's so cool to see the Wartwood characters again after not seeing them for almost 2 years up until that point. And it's just worth the wait overall. And the sprivey moment in the end, god I wanna die in happiness already. Oh, and of course, this meme is from this episode. Play the forbidden note. <gasps> Personally, I just love all the temple episodes. First temple, second temple, and third temple. Might be biased because I love the Calamity trio so much and these episodes showcases their character beautifully. See, see, this pretty much supports what I said earlier about how fans are so into the three girls. And you're right, the three temple episodes are just a perfect exhibition on each of the three girls. I love that each temple has its own personality that represents each Calamity gem and is shown in the unique challenges that the girls have to go through. There are some unique challenges as well here like the flipboard one is cool and also that part where Valeriana reveals the true form of the second temple when it's unlike any other temples. It's just such a great trio of episodes just like the three girls that manages to complete all of them. And I'm really happy that they are effective ways to build on the world of Amphibia that we only knew a portion of up until that point. I think the best episode besides True Colors is Ivy on the Run. I liked how Ivy was so fed up with Felicia, she ran away, of course with Sprig. Also we learned that Anne knows hand to hand combat named Muay Thai and that Wally sprawled with her. Also we get some background on Felicia, finding out she used to be a traveler and all that time she was teaching Ivy for when she begins her own travels. I mainly think of Ivy on the run as a nice breeder before the first temple and it's so damn exciting to finally see an Ivy episode because I adore her so much. She truly embodies two of my favorite character tropes. Sasha Ivy episode when? I'm still waiting. If it actually comes out, that one will be the definitive best amphibia episode period. I don't have much to say outside of this one has a big season 1 vibe to it where it's just Anne and the Wardwood people and I love it. I forgot to mention Wax Museum, it was a good homage to Gravity Falls but I bet Matt knew it would cause up fan theories that everything is connected to Gravity Falls in some way, hell there's even a joke about it in the episode. 
To be completely honest, while the prospect of a Gravity Falls crossover was very cool when it was first announced and I was looking forward to it, this pretty much feels like an average amphibia episode just with some Gravity Falls characters as frogs in it. And it's not inherently a bad thing but this doesn't really make for an incredibly significant episode in the show in my opinion, really it's more enjoyable in the context of the cool cameo of Alex Hirsch working together with his show's former staff. Damn, there are so many episodes being answered with you guys. I can only answer two more episodes here, sorry. I forgot what it's called but it's the episode where Sprig, uh, Sprig, uh, Sprig thinks that Maddie cursed them. And since up until now, we've stereotyped Maddie to be nothing but a creepy witch, it makes sense. But as the episode progresses, you learn that Maddie is more than just those things and end up liking her. That one is also one of my favorites from season 1. This is the episode that made me like Maddie a lot. Girl seems like a pretty cool friend to have. No wonder why Marcy fits her friend type so well. Also some of the scenes here are hilarious. And that's how you fix a door. Good job. I do admit, Temple Frogs is one of my favorites. I love how they show the Thai culture and the Thai community in America and it's obvious that this is one of those episodes where Matt puts something near to him and his heart. It's good to see something different in cartoons than American culture. Yeah, this is one of the latest episodes to be released but it's quickly becoming one of my favorites in season 3 so far, mainly because of the overt references to Thai culture that Matt incorporates very well into an episode that also ties with the context of the season. It's a really cool representation of Thai people that Matt and the crew could have just left it at that Lily Pat Thai episode and that's it. Seeing Polly's voice actors spoke Thai so fluently blew my mind back when I first watched it. Kudos to the Thai dubber to guide Amanda Layton for that scene. This is just a wholesome episode all around, just like a good old amphibia episode should be. And I guess that's all I can answer. Thank you so much for all the answers. I'm sorry if I can't pick all of them. I respect all of your answers. So with all that being said, what do I think is the best amphibia episode outside of True Colors? Is it the heart-wrenching hopping mall, the fun vibes of the dinner, the creatively made temple episodes, or even some of the early season 1 episodes that people overlook? Which one is it? This one. This is the best amphibia episode hands down.